Alice Augusta Ball, a pioneer of leprosy treatment, is my unsung hero of science. Leprosy was an incurable epidemic in the 1800s, leading to blindness, skin sores and gangrene. This contagious bacterial disease was called separating sickness and was criminalised in 1865. Sufferers were arrested, abducted and exiled to an inaccessible peninsula in Hawaii, Kalawoa. From 1866 to 1884, 3,000 patients were forcibly sent to Molokai Colony. Many boats capsized and captives drowned even before reaching the islands. Those that arrived lived in sordid conditions. Hospitals had no beds, medicines or even doctors and food was scarce. There was no escape. Watchmen guarded the 2,000 foot cliffs and runaways were brought back in leg irons. Most victims gave into depression and despair and died. They were buried in mass unnamed graves. It was at this time in history that Alice Ball was born in Seattle, Washington on the 24th of July 1892. Alice's grandfather was a famous photographer and abolitionist, James Presley Ball. Alice grew up in Seattle's Central District, graduating from Seattle High School in 1910 with top grades in science. She obtained two pharmaceutical degrees and published a chemistry paper in the prestigious journal of the American Chemical Society. Alice Ball's other firsts are shown here. She later studied carver root tea and chalmuga oil for leprosy treatment. Chalmuga oil was obtained from the ripe seeds of a hydnocarpus tree and its fatty acids were found to have strong bactericidal effects against Microbacterium lepra. Alice developed the ball method at the age of 23 years, creating a new water-soluble, injectable and absorbable drug from chalmuga oil which remained the preferred method for treating leprosy until the 1940s, saving many lives. After Alice died in a lab teacher in 1960, her colleague Arthur Dean took credit for her work, publishing it as the Dean Method. <laughs>